Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Mr. Crucial here in my test world. Um, what he came up with here is pretty awesome. It is a piston half adder. <laughs> it will be converted into a full adder. Just let me work on it. Shouldn't be too hard. But uh, let's start off with the half adder, anyways. A half adder. Both inputs A and B will give you a sum value. And if inputs A and B are on, it will give you a carry. This is um, this is for like building computers and stuff uh, with binary numbers on in Minecraft, right? This that's what this thing's for, a half adder. I'm sure if you're looking for this video, you know what its function is. So it's an XOR gate and an AND gate, basically. This was like my first attempt to build it. I was implementing the uh, piston XNOR gate, but it required too many inverters. <laughs> Looked pretty haggard. I found this one on Google or YouTube, and it's pretty nice. There's no piston, and it's pretty compact, but I definitely made it a lot smaller if you compare the two. Yeah. And it has the same function. Well, I don't even need to show you the old one. It functions completely the same. Yet some, some, and carry. Like I said, I'll be converting converting this thing into a full adder. Um, you can pretty much see how it's built. If not, I might as well build it for you. So the way this is working is. I had to invert the lines for the AND gate to work properly. So this is input A, input B. Um, okay, let's start with input A. Input A comes along. It goes through this torch. Okay, and it's going to go onto a piston on its side. That's going to be holding previously an X and OR gate, but now it's an X OR and the output is back here this will be your sum output so we'll represent it with the piston alright um, so an input B comes along a little bit further and it goes into this block now what this block has on the side here is a torch and two repeaters this is important because when input B is on, it's going to go through the repeater, through the block, through this repeater, through this block, and power the sum. And if it's, that's if it's on, like that, it goes straight through it. Now if it input A is on, it's going to retract this piston here, and the power from this torch it's going to go through this repeater, through the block, through that. Okay. See there? I retracted the piston from this here. Forgot to mention this part. And the power is going to go through there. Now, if both of these are on, it turns off. Okay. That's an X, X nor, or X or gate now. So what we need to do is not add an AND gate and what I've done to add my AND gate is I just come off these two torches because they flip-flop right if one if one is active one torch will be off if this one's active this torch will be off and that's a flip-flop so what we're doing is we're taking advantage of the flip-flop between the two different circuits and we basically make an AND gate how do I do that? I have it inverted. Yeah. Just break off that block and invert it. So basically, if they're both on, yeah, you get the idea. It's an AND gate. Like this. This is where your sum value will come from. You can run out, out one extra. So both levers are on. You have the sum value one lever's off, it switches from sum, or uh, carry to sum, my bad. A little bit hard to explain a half adder, I'm fairly new to it, 
but uh, I know this can be easily converted into a full adder so I'm excited to be uh, doing that next but um, I definitely want SC Joiner to see this because I know he's in the process of building a, a computer and uh, I'm sure this would be very useful to him so I don't know rate comment and subscribe peace